Hi everyone, it's me Jenny and welcome to your Health Matter channel. And in our today's video, we will talk about what are uterine fibroids, symptoms, causes, and this is part 1 of the video. The part 2 will be the treatment of uterine fibroids. So, let's get started. Uterine fibroids are a common health concern among a major population of women. Uterine fibroids are benign, non-cancerous tumors and originate within the uterus. Uterine fibroids are also called fibroid tumors or myomas. This is probably because uterine fibroids contain higher levels of estrogen than the surrounding uterine tissues. Some uterine fibroids may be so small that they cannot be felt even during an internal examination. Some may be large enough to make a prominent bulge in your stomach. What causes uterine fibroids? There are various factors that underlie the real cause of uterine fibroids. There are primary causes that contribute to the development of the fibroids in the uterus, and then there are secondary causes that contribute to the aggravation of these present fibroids. There might even be external factors like emotional upheavals which disrupt the normal balance of the body and make you vulnerable to such diseases. Here are some of the primary factors that can be said to be the real causes of uterine fibroids. Number 1. Genetic Predisposition The genetic construction in certain women makes them predisposed to abnormal metabolic cell activity. Women suffering from dysfunctional metabolism are therefore more susceptible to condition like uterine fibroids than others. Fortunately, such genetic predisposition can be changed. By taking control of the internal and external environments that affect your body, you can reform your actual genetic tendencies and thereby overcome the disease. Number 2 Poor Dietary Practices A healthy, complete diet is essential for a fit and active life. And this is very important for women as the slightest negligence can greatly affect the body's internal balance. Thus, low intake of fruits and vegetables and excessive intake of refined carbohydrates and toxic foods create problems like hormonal imbalance, lowered immunity, and poor digestion. Under such conditions, uterine fibroids can develop more easily. Number 3. Weakened Immune System Poor diet, inadequate rest, stress, toxic accumulation, excessive use of medication, all contribute in lowering the immunity of the body. This makes the body highly vulnerable to the condition as the body cannot work towards balancing the hormones or eliminating the toxic waste within the body. Number 4. Accumulation of Toxins In our daily life, we are constantly exposed to toxins in the food we eat, the water we drink, or even the air we breathe. And this leads to the accretion of toxins in our blood, lymph, kidneys, and colon. These toxins then cause ovary damage, infertility, and dysfunctional hormones. Some environmental toxin can even lower one's progesterone levels. All of these factors greatly increase the body's susceptibility and make one prone to uterine fibroids. Number 5. Insulin Resistance When the cells in one's body are less responsive towards the insulin hormone, insulin resistance is caused. And this negatively impacts the insulin-dependent mechanism in the body. Number 6. Hormones Uterine fibroids have been known to thrive 
on hormones like estrogen and progesterone. During pregnancy and menstruation, estrogen levels are at their highest. This is usually the time when the fibroid condition is at its worst. A lot of women have discovered that upon reaching menopause, the fibroid shrinks or sometimes even disappear. What are the symptoms of uterine fibroids? Recognizing the symptoms of a disease is the first step towards a proper diagnosis and timely cure. Thus, understanding the underlying signs and symptoms of uterine fibroids can go a long way in getting timely help and that is stopping further growth and development of the fibroids. Usually, the presence of one or two small fibroids in the uterus is hardly noticeable. It is when larger fibroids begin to develop or the fibroids grow in the number within the uterus that it becomes immensely uncomfortable and problematic. Uterine fibroid symptoms tend to be painful and distressing. And some of these symptoms are 1. Bleeding This is the most obvious sign to show the presence of fibroids in your uterus. Conspicuous fibroids in the uterus tend to cause a uterine congestion. This leads to blockades of normal menstrual flow which in turn causes the blood to flow heavily when released. Fibroids can also cause prolonged bleeding, bleeding in between menstrual cycle, heavy clotting, and spotting. The bleeding can even be extremely painful. If excessive and prolonged bleeding remains unchecked, it can cause anemia. Number 2. Pain One in every three women affected with fibroids claim to feel a pain associated with their condition. This causes excruciating cramps. And again, if a fibroid happens to degenerate because it couldn't get enough blood, the uterus painfully reacts to the dead cell. Many a times, the stalk-like growth with which the fibroid attaches itself to the uterus might twist, causing severe pain in and around the pelvic region. Fibroids even cause pain during sexual intercourse. And in some cases, the fibroids are so large that they start to press against the muscles of the lower back region, causing pain in the back and in the legs. Number 3. Pressure As fibroids grow in size, they tend to put pressure on the uterus and the abdomen. Large fibroids also put pressure on the urinary bladder as a result of which one feels the urge to urinate frequently. And this leads to a drastic decline in the flow of urine and subsequently causes serious kidney problems. Number 4. Infertility and Pregnancy Related Problems As fibroids grow bigger in size and increase in number, they begin to obstruct the sperm from reaching the egg by compressing the fallopian tube. And in a case where fertilization does manage to occur, the inflammation in the uterus is so extreme that the fertilized egg is unable to plant itself safely. Due to an increase in estrogen and progesterone levels in the body during pregnancy, there is a high chance of the fibroids developing further and causing severe discomfort and pain. So ladies, if you are facing any of these major uterine fibroid symptoms, you must consult your gynecologist or any other healthcare professional immediately. And that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that you liked the video. And if you did, can you please give it a thumbs up? And if you have any question, please leave a comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get updates. And I hope to see you on my next video, which is the part 2 and I will talk about um, treatment of uterine fibroid. Thank you and have a nice day everyone. Bye!